When did you last take a road trip through rural Alberta? What did you see? Some small town Chinese restaurants, a giant pierogi, maybe a giant Easter egg? Towns in Alberta certainly share their similarities. And what about the people? Everyone is hardworking, family oriented, community driven. But have you ever considered how the towns down the road from one another also share similar climate risks? I think we can all agree that preparing for the impacts of climate change today is a smarter option than waiting and risking the changes creeping up on us without any defenses. Proactive adaptation planning, as well as innovative tools and strategies, can help municipalities across Alberta build up these defenses. For large cities, this is certainly in reach, but rural towns need to get especially creative with how they achieve big visions like this with their smaller capacities. The work we've done with Resilient Rurals, a collaborative adaptation partnership between three towns in the industrial heartland, is an example of how scaling up adaptation projects from a single town to a whole region means that communities can share not just their risks, but their solutions too. It started with Bruderheim. The town conducted a vulnerability assessment back in 2018 and created an award-winning adaptation plan. Based on already established relationships, it made sense to reach out and include two nearby communities, Gibbons and Lamont, who also faced blazing summer temperatures air thick with wildfire smoke and who needed to enhance emergency preparedness for their vulnerable residents. From this new partnership, a regional resilience plan was born, and that's where the two of us came in. We've been moving this plan forward for all three communities. First, we created a bank of communications materials that each community can use both online and in person to educate and prepare their residents for climate impacts. Our fact sheets, brochures, and social media posts cover a wide range of topics, from changes to air quality, extreme heat, wildfire, flooding, and much more. And while we've designed these pieces with our communities in mind, they are publicly accessible on a resource hub that we host on our own website, so any rural community in the area could use them if they wanted to. Another thing our communities and all communities share is vulnerable people. Unsurprisingly, age, socioeconomic status, race, housing, and health can all leave people more challenged during extreme weather. Knowing this, we developed a program model called Rural Assist that each of our communities will run in the near future. Once up and running, the program will help the town build a private registry of their vulnerable people, so if an emergency happens, the town can contact these residents to check in on them and give them additional information. Fortunately, each town already has an opt-in emergency alert system, which Rural Assist can piggyback off. And finally, remember last year's heat wave and drought? Yeah, so do our communities. They wanted us to help them prepare for future summer threats. So right now we're developing a community water planning guide for town staff and councils to reference, and have finished a guide for planning a community cooling center. So as you can see, through partnership, our communities now have a tool set of guides and policies in their back pockets that they can use as the impacts of climate change set in. If they'd been working solo, this may not be the case by now. Though small, when working together, Bruderheim, Gibbons, and Lamont have bolstered their capacity to adapt. They've improved emergency preparedness, water supply planning, and now have programs and plans in place for extreme weather. This is an example of how thinking not only locally, but regionally can accelerate adaptation processes in small town Canada.